Chattanooga police haven't made an arrest, but they do believe they can find who did this because investigators say the victim was targeted. 29-year-old Steve Mosley died inside this home on North Hawthorne Street. Police say someone shot him outside of the duplex, but Mosley managed to make it inside. When police arrived, he was dead. And he was a nice dude. Several neighbors say the same, that Mosley didn't bother anyone, and they don't know why someone would attack him. But police say the attack wasn't random and that someone targeted Mosley. We're not exactly sure what uh, the circumstances were around the shooting, but he was last seen uh, running away from the area. Even though police are still investigating the motive, neighbors have their own suspicions. It's about the game bang. I know it's about the game bang. It's, it's about, the, about the game bang. If it happened here, it had something to yeah, do with about game bang. Yeah, about game bang on drugs. It, 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 had, it had to. LaKendra Rivers is no stranger to violence. Her cousin was murdered last year. This most recent shooting has her once again asking why. Everything turned apart in Chattanooga. This, this, this shouldn't be happening this way at all. If you have any information on today's shooting, make sure to ch call Chattanooga Police. Of course, we'll bring you any updates as we get them. Kim, back to you. Jenna, thank you so much. And obviously, this certainly is a, this is Chattanooga's first shooting in July. Right now, we know today's shooting continues another violent year. So far in 2012, there have been 39 shootings in the city with 44 victims. Eight of those victims have died. There have been 11 murders in Chattanooga this year. You, of course, can depend on us to bring you any new developments in the Hawthorne Street shooting as soon as we get them.